Hello and welcome my fellow homo sapiens and today we are doing a Far Cry 5 review video. Now obviously I've still yet to complete this however I feel that a review a week after its release is probably long enough but definitely a game worth your time and attention. Far Cry 5 is the latest addition in the Ubisoft's franchise for Far Cry. Now the game itself has been hit and miss over the last couple of games however for the third one was definitely my favorite and a lot of people's favorite just I think it was mainly because of the villain in it now in this game you have four villains to face off each with their own section on the world map and objectives to piss them off basically to grab their attention and to make them stop you destroying everything that have built and stop them growing now is Far Cry 5 a typical Far Cry game yes and no now, yes in the sense that it's the same sort of first person shooter you can expect from the Far Cry franchise. However, there's a lot more customization in it, there's a bigger world map I believe, and there's just a ton of stuff to do on it. And some of these images, like in the background here you can see, it just looks fantastic. Like It's a real beautiful world. It's been rendered beautifully, I mean you can see, anything you can see in the distance basically you can go visit and that's fantastic to me like having restrictions on a world map is just it's just not fair it's like teasing you with a, a kinder chocolate or something or a big easter egg and then having no oh, no you can just have the packet do you know what I mean like it, it's not fair whereas Far Cry 5 doesn't do that to you I think it's a very 18 rated game to be honest there's a lot of like maiming in it like crucifying people burning people, talking about fucking eating people, there's lots of swearing in it, lots of um, profanity in it, it's, it's just an absolute like joke of a game, but a joke in a good way, not like joking in it, like a, this game is shit, don't ever buy it, but like there's a, a, a testicle festival that happens in the Falls End, and honestly the mission for it is absolutely nuts, like whoever thought of this mission was, was clearly on this bliss, that's been going around that um, Faith has her minions put on. It's just weird, like some of the missions, are, it's just crazy. I, I feel like dr the driving, and especially in the planes as well, like cause this is the first one where you've actually been able to fly a plane in a Far Cry um, franchise. And honestly, like they've done a pretty good job on it, to be fair. There's obviously where you can drop bombs on people, you can fire them, and it just feels so smooth to drive. And obviously you've got your quad bikes, your cars, your vans, and you've got some like big like 18-wheeler truck things. I don't know if they're like 18 wheeler I'm just making it up. But they're, they're similar to like an Optimus Prime looking sort of vehicle. And personally, they're probably my favourite vehicle of all the game, just because... It's, it's a bit like Optimus Prime really and there's actually a mission where you actually pick one up and it fires guns and it, that, that's pretty sweet. Now moving on from there obviously I mentioned briefly that there was customizations in the game. Now there is a lot of customization. You can actually choose whether you want to be a male or a female in this one. Now this is the first episode on a Far Cry game where you've been able to do that. Basically in the other games you, you, you just had the bog standard like you had to be that character like there was no if and buts you had to be that character and they've also introduced clothing now it doesn't really make too much of a difference because obviously you're in first person like no one ever sees you anyway like the, the only thing you can really see is your arms like when you're shooting guns and driving vehicles and stuff like that so it does kind of feel a little bit pointless but it's, it's still a great like little addition to the game it makes you feel more like it's your character like more like you're playing the the character in the game it's based more around you and now obviously you don't have to fight all this stuff alone you obviously can you you can get your friends in to help you with the co-op game although it doesn't affect any progression and stuff like that it won't actually affect you if you join someone else's game which i think is fair but not at the same time like is it a case of like if you join someone's game will you not be able to rank up will you not be able to gain extra weapons and stuff like that and then when you come back to your own game will they all just be lost so i don't know i've not tried it yet i've not had anyone on pc to play with yet um but you know it's definitely something i'm worth trying now obviously because it is a review like and i've not completed it and i've not tried out the co-op it kind of feels a bit lackluster on the whole like doing a full review on the game so what i might do is i might do an extended review once i've actually completed the game and tried the co-op so be prepared to have another video on this at some point soon so if you don't want to miss that video hit that subscribe button and bell so as i mentioned earlier as well 
there, there's a massive open world with obviously three sections so obviously each section has a leader and a boss that you need to take down which each boss requiring you to do different things now to piss them off to get their attention you have to blow up vehicles rescue like hostages and stuff like that and obviously do little side quests and these all go to pissing off the boss now once you've pissed them off enough you actually get to face them down now currently i've only done jacob and john so all i've got left to do is faith and then the father the thing that did piss me off though was that every time because you've got four circles before you get to the boss every time you hit a circle basically they would send people after you to get you and there was no escape from them you like you literally couldn't like fight them off or anything you were literally gone and jake's missions felt a little bit repetitive because it's just the same thing every time you got captured like you, you got captured and you ended up in some sort of like status that was obviously trying to make you into like kind of like a, a sleeper agent i suppose and that's what john would uh, jacob would do sorry and he would make you like a sleeper agent where he would play some music and every time you heard the music you would go and do what you were supposed to do or what he trained you to do which was obviously kill someone now there's a ton of side quests i mean literally like a ton of side quests and there's so many like different people in it that you need to go visit and stuff like this and um, which also brings me on to guns for hire to acquire these guns for hire eh, nice little rhyme there should have been a rapper so uh, to acquire these uh, guns for hire you actually have to do little missions for them to help them out and and then they repay you by being loyal to you and, and helping you out in battle whenever you needed it so you got three animals to choose from you had boomer cheeseburger which was a giant grizzly bear and peaches which was actually a cougar now i personally i think the animals are really handy like if you see here you've got nine guns for hire to help you now obviously not all of them have guns obviously so the name is kind of a, a bit ridiculous but i don't know what other name they could have thought of to, to go with it to be fair so it doesn't really matter but um yeah it's it's very handy that having them all in battle and obviously they all do different things they've all got different perks they've all got different personalities as well like if you remember from far cry 4 there was herc uh, yeah he's back in here as well he's he's still a bit of an idiot in this one he's absolutely crazy as well like some of the stuff he comes out with i think he's even more stupid than he was in number four that i think they've done a pretty good job on getting the npcs to actually help you in battle and you can obviously direct these through looking or well, aiming down your sights so all you do is you just tag them and then they go about killing them in whatever way they do which is probably why i favor jess quite a lot because she's quite stealthy and she's very good with a bow and arrow i've become a pretty good archer myself in the game never really used them in the other far cry games so it like to have it in this one is actually really good my only problem with the npcs is when you're in a car obviously the animals won't get in the car with you they'll just follow you in the with their running and stuff like that but with the human npcs they take the absolute piss to get into the fucking car when you're trying to like when you're being shot at the last thing you want to be doing is waiting around for someone to get in your bloody car you just want to go and then they you can you can get the fuck out of there do you know what i mean i mean obviously you can still drive ahead and they'll follow you but the like it's nice to have them in the car with you especially if you're being chased because they can actually shoot the cars behind you which obviously helps you which gets them off your back less requirement on you trying to be an excellent driver like something out of fucking fast and furious do you know what i mean like trying to escape them so it's just nice having them in the car so i mean there isn't a great deal wrong with the game i mean it's still got its classic ubisoft glitches which are often more funny than annoying to be fair especially in this one my overall thought is that far cry 5 is probably a good 8 9 out of 10 definitely like no lower than that the game is absolutely brilliant it's so beautiful it's so much fun and there's so many different perks so many customization options that you have in the game which is obviously fantastic for me because i quite like customizing my characters in games now obviously i'm going to leave the video there please leave your thoughts in the comments section down below you see if, if i've missed anything or if you've not bought this game yet and you're interested in buying it then please let me know if i've actually persuaded you to go out and buy this it's an absolutely fantastic game obviously i'm playing it on pc the, the footage you're seeing in the background is all my uh, pc gameplay footage it's an absolutely brilliant game so beautiful and it's just a lot of fun obviously the big question is will far cry 5 be better than far cry 3 now this is a choice that you will have to make yourself so go out and buy it if you haven't already uh, or let me know your thoughts on if you already completed it and what you feel that the game was missing and what you felt that the game had nailed 
in the comments down below. So if you did like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit that bell. This really does help out the channel and you will never miss out on any of the videos that I upload weekly. Now I do try and aim for two a week, so watch out for that. And I will be doing more videos on Far Cry 5 as I progress through the story. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please take care of yourself and others and goodbye for now.